Praise God. My name is Revelation Saint Masumba Stephanie. We are the Steva Bands. May God bless you. Praise God. My name is Saint Mary John Number Numuza. Praise God. My name is Muganzi Levi Saint Fuma. Praise God. Amen. My name is Munonuzi Exola Sempuma. <laughs> Praise God. I'm always Genesis Sempuma. By humility and the fear of God, our riches and honor and life. Humility. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let us not clap until we are finished all, eh? Thank you. Humility, you don't know this. By humility and the fear of God are riches and honor and life. Humility is one of the foundations of all the other virtues. And the key to moral excellence. True humility does not know that it's humble. If it did, it would be proud. Stephen, I reveal to you the mystery of life. It will transform people's hearts. It will bring fame to you. But if you do not humble yourself, the same mystery I have revealed to you will kill you. According to Apostle Stephen St. Foma, humility is giving up your rights, taking yourself as though you owe nothing to anyone. True humility comes from listening and putting into practice what is hard. The action is taken positively after listening what defines humility. So humility cannot happen unless an action is done. Humility, therefore, comes from obedience. In Apostle Stephen Sefuma's words, Just as the theme of this conference is, riches, honor, and life is the reward to those who are humble. And as Isaiah says, our God dwells in eternity with those who are humble. And although the Lord is on high, yet he regards the lowly, but the proud, he knows from the first says the Psalm is 138 verse 6. He continues, Lord, you hear the prayer of the humble. You prepare their hearts. You cause your ear to hear. Psalms 10, 17. Consider the popular scripture. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn away from their wicked ways, now will I hear from heaven, and forgive their sins, and heal their land. Now will my eyes be open, and ears attentive to the prayer made in this place. Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verses 14. So God hears the prayer of the humble, and he forgives them. The Lord gives more grace, and the grace comes with wisdom. All in all, the sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, and a contrite heart those God does not despise. For who is greater, he who sits at the table, or he who serves? Is it not he who sits at the table? Yet I am among you as one who serves, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life a ransom for many but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, just as the sheep before its shearers is silent, he opened not his mouth. And knowing he had come in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and was obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Mocked and degraded, for us Christ died. Only then did God open the heavens wide for us. Christ's example of humility is one we ought to copy and imitate every day of our lives. For in eternity, God invites only he who is of a humble heart. Isaiah 57, verses 15. Thus says the high and lofty who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the, I dwell in the high and holy place 
with he who is of a humble and contrite spirit to revive the to, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Bye. 